Hi, I'm Molly Thurston with Pearl Agricultural Consulting and today we're going to talk about the pest peach twig borer as well as the decision aid model on the BC DAS system for twig borer modeling. Peach twig borer is a common pest to peaches and the damage can occur on small terminal shoots as well as on buds and new leaves. The damage is characterized by a wilting or a flagging of the leaf tissue at the terminal ends of the new growing branches. Twig borer can also damage the fruit itself, resulting in pinpricks on the peaches which will ooze a clear or a light amber-colored exudate, making the peaches unmarketable in many cases. There's two generations of peach twig borer. The larva develops in the shoots or immature fruits, and the first generation is present during May and June. Adults will also lay their eggs mid to late May as well as into June, with the second generation of twig borer appearing in July. The BC DAS system has a model for larval development that will show you the percentage of larval development over time and allow growers to time their control sprays. Growers can use the model on the BC DAS system in order to find more information about monitoring practices as well as to time their sprays. There are a number of pesticide options listed on the BC DAS program. These management recommendations are for biopesticides along with spinosad products. The biopesticides like BT can be used at pink, while the spinosad products can be used at the petal fall timing on peaches. We're back in the peach orchard now taking a look at peach tree borer. This is a common pest of soft fruit trees including cherries, peaches, apricots and plums. The larva of peach tree borer overwinters at the base of the peach tree. The larva itself has a brown head and a white segmented body. The larvae will bore into the base of the peach tree and through that they will exude a mixture of frass and sawdust that can flake off of the bottom of the tree and an amber colored ooze or gumming will appear at ground level right at the base of the peach tree. This is a common sign for growers to scout for when you are looking for damage. The larva once mature will pupate at the base of the tree and from the pupil casing, which I am showing you here, will it emerge the grey adult moth. The moth itself can be caught in a pheromone trap and mating disruption lures such as the isomate pea that I'm holding here in my hand can be used in order to disrupt the sexual mating of the moths in the orchard. The other chemical control for peach tree borer is to spray the trunks. There are two registered products that are available for peach tree borer control. One is a Ryman trunk spray and the other is a delegate trunk spray. Delegate will provide suppression against the pest while Ryman will provide control against peach tree borer in the larval phase. Once you've determined whether the pest is present in your orchard, you can use the degree day models in order to find the specific timing which would work best for you for control in your orchard. As always, growers are reminded to monitor the specific conditions in their orchards looking for signs of damage and infestation before applying a spray. Please join us again for more videos in the BC DAS Fort Short series.